Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Time for us to deal with Yellow Ruins and Yellow Cave. Now of course I am starting quite far north. I just want to come down this way, just so that people can see that there's not terrible amounts of stuff here to be missed. Um, and maybe point out a few kind of items that I like on the way down. And also we need to spend some runes. So, let's do that before we go. I got two levels worth in the last episode, which is rather nice. Um, I really want to get enjoyment up to 35, because that'll be good. Place to be. And then we can head south from the church. Where's my south? There it is. Covered in blue dots, that's why. Can't see where it is properly. So obviously liturgical town to the east. I'm just gonna stick on to the to the right hand side here. Obviously already knocked this down. Right hand side, western side I should say. Uh, most because if I remember rightly, I think we can hook around, get ourselves some artery leaf. Um, and I just find those kinds of things to be more important. So wherever I kind of just remem remember the being one, I just kind of want to... Oh, there's not actually one there. I thought there was one around here. I just want to point it out. There should be some upgrade stones around here, though. So I'm just going to come on around. We've got Mausoleum Knights. So we need to be careful we don't aggro that because he'll chase me for miles. I still haven't worked out what the important use for nascent butterflies is. I've got to do that at some point. Aha, here we are. There's the one I was thinking about. I'll show you a leaf. It's just nice to have a few extras that you don't have to farm for. And then we can come on, continue around this way. We have to break that for the upgrade stones. Probably means kiting the rune bear over. I'm not about that life. You guys can do that if you want. That's a really long kite. The rune bear, which I think is, is it this one? Yeah, there's a rune bear there, and there's one scratching this big tree as well. So you got a couple of options for that. I'm not too interested in kiting a rune bear that far. That just sounds like a very unfun task to me. We've shown everything now. We're just going to go past. Oh man, it's loads. Your mind. That way there is the way to Mogwin Palace. I think it's that way. I'll use the map when we uh, decide we're going that way. And as you can see, uh, largely uneventful. Obviously, usually there would be an invasion here, but we already dealt with it earlier on as we were coming through the zone. And now we're starting to arrive at... Yellow Ruins. Oh, I was wrong about where that teleporter was because I'm pretty sure it's at the end of there. Um, so I was coming through. I believe there's loot in this one. And I think it's in this one. And there might be a Stone Sword key in this one. I think that's how it works. So we'll just have a quick run through here. We don't need to spend forever um, fighting all of these madness people here. Lots of Eyes of Yellow, if that's something that you're into. I assume they make madness things of some description. The red kind of almost makes them confusable with um, Arterides, but they're not. So I want to get this real quickly. And then we're just going to jump on over so that we can get in here for the loot. Should be an incantation. That's sure there was a stone sword key. I don't need it, but I want to show it. <laughs> like, I was sure. I was absolutely positive. Let me out. I put my marker over here, didn't I? Where is it? Sure, it's over here. Is it in this little one? Aha! There it is. Let me out. Let me out. Don't knock me off. No, let me out. There we go. I'm not fighting all this. Um, it's probably good for runes, I suppose. If you guys want to fight it all, you can. But all of the loot is just instantly attainable. And I don't think we need to, need to worry about it all too much. Lots of these big assassin uh, troll guys. Now we can just come on around. And get into the cave. So if you guys need the map position, just trying to take into account what people were saying about map timings. Um, I, I don't really regret not showing loads of the map because if you think about it, one minute of showing the map extra per episode across what is likely to be 120 episodes 
is two hours worth of extra map time. And maybe that's what you guys want, but that's like literally four episodes longer as a series. Um, and I was trying to make this one shorter than the original walkthrough. I'm aware that you guys haven't replied yet, so I'm just still talking to myself about it. So, a quick sip of tea. We're ready to go in. We start off with a drop down. Why? Yes, everything is correct. I have an upgraded version of Astel here. At least I think it's upgraded. You are not alive. Uh, that's going to be a shortcut later. So we come down here. I think you have to get the ledge, otherwise you can die coming down here, so be careful. That's where we're going to start getting enemies. Oh, man. I'm off to an amazing start. I really need to sort my inventory out again. Um, it's really diff yeah, difficult. It's really easy to mistake these for upgrade stones. Particularly the sombering ones that are all kind of a grey silver colour already. But that's fine. So you should be able to hear below. That's gonna be Alabaster Lord dude. There's two of them in here. Get off. You Maybe. Could be a th could be something ah. Oh, I was just wondering to myself about maybe we could switch to the eight percent when we're not full health, but I feel like healing is probably better. I like, I like the overtime healing. Um, or maybe I could just do it with the plus eight one and then I don't lose down. I don't know. I don't know what the best solution is to my... The way that we're good, we're done doing this now. So those done. I feel like I'm starting to notice the fact that we don't have as fast a cast speed as when you have, like, say, 20 or 30 decks in addition to the Radagon's icon. Come on, then. Uh, we really want to have this out. it can be staggered. Ooh. Oh man. I guess that's a reset. Okay, so round two for this guy. Uh, I still uh, I still stand by. The two smooth blades is the guy is the thing for this guy. Positive about it. Oh no. I was positive we could knock him down with it. Have they changed how much stagger he has? Okay, maybe, uh... Maybe, yeah, the shard would be better. Hmm. Maybe they've changed how much um, stagger damage the Doodle's Moonblade does. Maybe that's why people don't like it anymore. Interesting. Ancient Dragonstone is the main thing we've come down here for. That's also the second Alabaster Lord Sword that we've got. So if you like that, uh, you can use two now. The storm was in the Lick of Rot. So that we've dealt with that, we can head on across this ways. Make sure that's back on. Any more for any more? Nope. Oh, thanks for a pickaxe, buddy. We'll take that. Look at these lovely summer smithing stone eights. This is why we're doing this before going to Farmer's because it means we can definitely make sure that everybody has um, fully upgraded weaponry. Also, I changed my gloves to the um, white reed gloves because they look cool. With this set, they kind of go. I know I'm not an archer, but I am a magical archer. Me, me, oh, it's a shame we can't switch it. It'd be cool to have the leather kind of holdy one on the cast. Although, no, it kind of does make sense. Like the, you know, the magic metal with the metal arm. I don't know. You guys tell me, should I have my uh, casting implement left or right? According to fashion. Obviously, functionality-wise, I have to have the rapier in the, in the right hand for the Ash of War. I wish there was a way to select that. That would be way better if you could just select it. Right. Uh, FP. We want to be full here because we're going to have another Alabaster Lord. So you want to be in uh, top fighting condition for this. So let's do that. We're close to the shortcut back as well, so you can... Pop whatever you want here and uh, and be happy with that. Oh man. 
You're messing around, eh? Fine. You wanna play you wanna play projectile damage? We'll play project projectile damage. Oh man, that run though. Let's have a quick one of those out there. <laughs> Trying to fight me in that cave really screws you, doesn't it? Yeah, you can't get your meteor off if you're in the cave. Uh -huh. Why don't you drop me? I thought you were supposed to drop me a weapon or an item. Hmm. Do I not get the treats if I cheat? There's rune. There's something else in here. What's else in here? I didn't think it was you. Sumstone 9 is good to get. That's real nice. Sumstone 8. Have the boss fight there. That's going to be, a, like I say, an Astal copy. So we don't really want to go in there without nipping to the grease. Which is probably why they don't put any enemies in front of us. I feel like the dead enemies we see on the ground were probably like, Hey, let's put some enemies between the, between the grace and the boss. And they were like, yeah, maybe not. I don't think people will like that. Somebody said. Although they did do it with the original. In any case, we're going in. Let me double check that I've got what I want on. I do. I think we're going to try using the Graven Mass Talisman. I don't intend on using my Rapier anyway. The only thing, the only damage this affects extra on top of. Uh, the Graven Mass is this, and we lose 2%, that's 2 every 100 damage. So, that's base, right, and I can't really tell what my base damage is, but we're hitting it like 1,024. Worst case scenario, I lose 20 damage, so we're still doing 1,004. So, that sh should realistically be better, I think. Maybe I should have done this before. With the major difference being now the Rapier Poke is less damage. <sighs> But that should be fine. I haven't upgraded Tish in a while. Have we got the materials? We don't have an 8. I need to find where an 8 is. For now then, let's go in. Uh, I think that's everything. Pop the physic. I think this zaps me as well. I think this one has like a longer zap as its first wind up move. So I reckon I'm going to take damage here. So I'm going to do this. <laughs> it's like I read it. It's like I knew it was coming. It always gets me. Every time it gets me. Come on, Tish. Just a little bit of attention. There we are. That's good. Right, now I can do this. We can start pelting it out. We should have switched to Comet, really. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come here. That's definitely going to be better. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to hurt. Where's it gone? It's going to grab me. It's going to grab me. No, it didn't. That's going to do its big thing, because it is. I think we want to get behind it for this. Alright, let's go. Come here. Come here. You have the same problem as dragons, don't you, huh? I mean, really dangerous with all that lack of stamina that I've got. Is this struggling to turn in the corner? That's interesting. Didn't know that. I mean, you, you probably can't force it to get in that corner, but that's handy to know. <clears throat> but we are done. Yellow Cave is done. Yellow Ruins is done. Western Side is done. Where's the way out? There it is. Western Side of the Snowfields is done. Eastern Side is done. All we are left with now is main dungeons. And Lindel Captains, Catacombs. I need to remember to do that. Although we could do it at any point. But if we leave it until like after, <laughs> after like endgame stuff. We're going to have problems. And I must remember to make sure that I get the final death route that I don't have. I don't know which one I've missed. I'm going to have to check all of the locations. 
and then deliver them all to this dude before you go to Faramazula. Do not go there without having given this guy all the death route because um, something secret's going to happen. For now though, time for us to make our way to Mogwin Palace. That's where we're going to go. So for this, we're going to avoid as much of this as we can. We're just going to follow it around. Is that the right place? I've already marked it. I must have done. You'll know you're in the right place because there'll be a lot of the white cartwheelie dudes. I don't know what else to call them. They look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with no shells. I'm sure it's right in this corner. I'll show the map when we get there. This one probably is worth showing you guys properly. I'm still classed as being in combat. No, I'm not anymore. Good. That's an enemy. I thought it was going to be loot. <laughs> I don't want to be in a rune bear right here. No, it's like, I was wrong. I was wrong about it. So is it here? It must be here. It's definitely along this side. Where are you? Give me the teleporter. There it is. Haha. -ha. It's right here. Oh man. Rimbo's gonna follow me. And here we have it. Let me bring the map up whilst I'm not aggroed. So I was wrong. It's not one of these kind of outwardly looking bits. It's more like behind this round looking structure. I'm usually pretty good with map points and where I want to go. But I wasn't this time. Through the bloody portal we go. Now then, anybody that wants to out-level the game, this is a place that you can do it. In fact, it's probably the best place to do it. I've already shown you guys the dragon trick. Um, but now we have a new trick available. I'm not, I, I am going to show it. I'm not going to do it like repetitively, but I'm going to show it. Um, and this is probably one that you'll want to pop things like golden uh, foul feet for, all sorts of other stuff. I feel like it's almost been designed to be farmed. Not in the way that we're going to do it, but I do feel like this area that we're in now has been designed to give you a lot of runes. And I'm going to show you why as we go through it in a minute. Um, especially if you clear it out. Like, if you have the mindset, which I think most people probably should slash do, um, of clearing enemies out as you go through an area, then this place is going to net you levels. We've got one here right now. I'm going to go with my point in endurance which is nice very good i can't actually get my dag well there's no point in me putting my dagger on right now until we've done Framazula. so we have these okay 2400 not bad for just two enemies that aren't really attacking us that we can just walk up to backstab okay like there's loads of it So the idea that people wouldn't just farm this literally right next to a grace, especially if you've got some good AOE abilities, is, um, well, it's completely beyond me. However, that is not the superior way to farm here. The superior way is to equip yourself anything that fires far. Let's give ourselves something like arrows reach to make sure we've got all the range that we need for this. All you need to do is hit that right there in the head from about where I am now. You do need to be in a fairly specific place. It'll fall off. And you have 13,000 runes. Quick reset. Let's go back and do that a second time. Um, just so you guys can see how you do this. There is a specific spot you need to be at. And it's basically between these two guys here. Because you don't want that one to aggro on you. So you're going to come over here. You're going to aim at that, you're going to fire at it just once. Don't fire it a second time after you've hit it because um, it can dodge and that can um, kind of spoil its movement off the side. And bam. So 
So if you want to spoil your game um, and be like level 500 in your first playthrough of the game, you can do so. I personally don't really recommend it. Maybe round out a couple of levels here, particularly if there's something that you want. I mean, this character is like basically done, right? There's almost there's almost no gain from where I am now. I'll probably put an extra point into mind just because 40 is a nice round number. And then all of my remaining runes that we get are probably just going to go into intelligence. That's very going to do very little for me, but um, I just feel like I like to spend my runes and that's what we're going to do. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. It is going to be time for us to take on, I believe this place is called Mogwin Palace. In the next episode, we're going to run down first, get the map fragment, and then we'll clear the zone out. See you all again soon.